Hey guys, Riley Spanish here. In this video, I've got a big stack of Lost Origin sleeved boosters. And um, did get lucky recently and hit the Giratina. Got these in a lot of sealed product. I typically don't buy these, but um, every now and then, really good deal will pop up. People selling a bunch of sealed stuff. And I gotta jump on it, see if I can uh, make something happen. So I figured why not and see if I can pull something good from these um, probably call the video 20 packs because it's got a nicer ring to it but I believe it is 19 in fact first pack here Sligu Bennett this is definitely from the new print run where the code cards do not matter unfortunately well I guess it's unfortunate in that particular pack but doesn't really matter at the end of the day the pull rates should still be the same which is to say not incredible because it took me forever to hit an alternate art and uh, yeah I mean I'm thankful that I hit the Giratina when I did would love to see the uh, Aerodactyl or the Rotom Still looking for the first hit though. Radiant Sneasler, McGearna. I guess the Radiant Sneasler kind of counts. Hopefully these weren't weighed or anything. I think it's kind of hard to weigh the sleeve packs though, just because they can have differing amounts of glue and stuff like that that would kind of change it to a point where it'd be kind of hard to tell. Um, but you never know. There's the Snorlax Trainer Gallery. Buffalant. That Snorlax is nice. Yeah, like I said, not usually a uh, sleeved booster guy, but... I do see something in this pack, actually. My dog out there barking. I think I saw something shiny. I sure did. It is going to be a trainer gallery, too. The Kabu. And then Parasect. So every hit has been in that reverse slot so far. But that's fine. Hitting a full art, I can kind of assure myself that they're not weighed packs or anything like that. Keep wanting to do one from the back. I'm so uh, scarlet and violet brained now. Snover Dustox. Oops. I swear, when I get Lost Origin in like collection boxes, I'll always get like V's and stuff, but when I open these loose packs, Getting an actual hit from the rare slot is so hard. Porygon. There's a hollow Sableye. That one's actually worth setting aside. Um, I don't know if it's still used as much, but I know that card was worth a couple bucks. Uh, when the, at least when the set was new. Probably still is, I imagine. I don't think that the format has rotated quite yet. And even if it has, might still have some use in like a legacy format or expanded format. Stunfisk Buffalant. Jellos Buffalant. What is with that Buffalant? Hit some like crazy 
like batching issue where every single pack has a bouffalant. I think it's like the third or fourth time I've hit that. Twice in a row, too. Don't love to see that. And yeah, it has been several packs since I got anything. Ducklet Cramorant. At least it's something different. Kingdra Spiritum. Definitely like to see another pull or two. Over halfway through at this point. Looks like I got eight packs left, including this one. I do have three kind of hits. I mean, the Kabu full art's cool. It's not really worth anything, but that and the Snorlax are the only things I have to really show for this yet. Ducklet, there we go. First pull from the rare slot is a Perserker V. Not the greatest thing in the world, but I will most definitely take it. Lost Vacuum, another V. Got the Zoroark. Snorlax, another V, three in a row. Magnazone. Man, these were... I mean, I did move them around. It's not like this was the order they were always in. I must have really shuffled them poorly and just put the three uh, V cards so far all right in a row. Would like to see something better than a V. It's a hollow Gengar. That is not better than a V, but it is something different. That is technically four good packs in a row with a hollow or better though. Since obviously you are not guaranteed a hollow in Sword and Shield. Would love to see that silvery full art edge. Lady Polytoad. All right, three packs left. The main reason I don't like sleeve boosters, other than, you know, just them not being cost effective, is it's like so much extra work to open them. Carbink Clefable. Second to last pack here. This was one that I, I already opened the cardboard. That's why it opened so easily. I like to do that when I'm buying these. Just to make sure that the actual pack inside is real. And then, um, you know, before I hand over money and drive off with it. Stone Jorner and Landorus. And last pack magic here. Giratina on the cardboard. Enamorous on the pack. Can I get one more hit? Definitely a little underwhelming on this uh, particular rip session, but still did get a couple of pulls. I mean, the actual number of pulls is not far off from what you would expect. Just nothing great. And going to 
finish with a whole lot of nothing, but did manage to get a couple of good little hits. Sableye Hollow, Kabu Trainer Gallery, Snorlax Trainer Gallery, Magnezone, Zoroark, Berserker V, and Radiant Sneasler. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing.